Joining me from Bangkok to discuss this is Phil Robertson, the Deputy Asia Director of Human Rights Watch. Uh, Phil, welcome to the News Hour. Good to talk to you as always. Thank you. When it comes to drug and gun control in Thailand, are they two separate issues that need to be looked at, or is it all linked? Well, I think that the issue of the, the guns uh, are the really big issue. Uh, this is a, a country that is awash in guns. Um, you know, there's an estimated 6 million uh, illegal firearms here, uh, a significant number that are legally registered. Uh, quite clearly, there are loopholes throughout the process where service members are able to get access to low-cost guns. Uh, we believe that many of them are selling them out the back door into the black market. Uh, it, it's quite clear that people are able to get access to guns, uh, and there's no real focus on issues of mental health uh, about, you know, the people who acquire these guns. And so it's not surprising that we're having these kind of incidents now, uh, you know, and the government needs to formulate a clear plan to get on top of this uh, and to once again rein in uh, the, the guns that, you know, they claim that they had effective gun control. and. It's quite clear that this incident and the other incident in 2020 proved that's not the case. Uh, Phil, how easy will it be to actually change gun laws in the country? I mean, the opposition is asking for this uh, parliamentary uh, debate, but uh, this is a country that has a long history of, of coups. The military, the police are everywhere, especially in certain regions. So in order to change these laws, is it going to be a difficult process? Well, I certainly think it will be. Uh, there's got there's issues of accountability that are connected to that too, accountability of service members uh, for the weapons they purchase. Uh, but there has to be a plan. You know, there has to be some forward uh, thinking leadership here, uh, either by this current government or by whatever government takes over after the next election, uh, to come up with a, a solution to the fact that, as I said at the outset, there are way too many guns in this country and they're not effectively regulated. Okay, Phil Robertson, thank you so much for giving us analysis on that situation in Thailand. Live to us there from Bangkok. Thanks, Phil.